Hi, my name is Monique and I'm a registered dental hygienist and today I would like to show you what a patient can expect to experience when they come in for a cleaning. Hi Camille, how are you? Hi Monique, how are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. Come on back. All right. So how is everything going? So far so good. Good. Yeah. Um, have you had any changes to your health recently? Um, like medications or no, surgery? No, everything's the same so far since good. last time. Good. Yeah. And how is your teeth treating you? Do you have any specific concerns that you'd like me or the doctor to address today? Um, not really that I know of. Mostly just on my flossing, which is something that I can change. So Okay. Yeah. Um, are you trying to floss a little bit more or yeah definitely just do the two times a day have it you know good. just to keep my gums healthy and stuff like that so i'm not so sensitive when i brush my teeth good yeah. very good okay well let me check real quick and see if you're due for x-rays or an exam today So it looks like it's been a little over a year since you've had checkup x-rays or an exam, so we should probably take those today. Um, are x-rays really necessary? Actually, they are. Um, we recommend that a patient have an exam at least once a year along with checkup x-rays. And the reason for this is because it's better to catch something when it's small rather than when it's big. Okay. So say that you might have a small cavity that we see in the x-rays, then that just means an easy procedure, small filling, rather than if you were to wait and, and not have x-rays done, that small cavity could turn into like a root canal or even an extraction if you let it go for too long. Oh, okay, I see. Well, yeah, I definitely, definitely want to schedule them one. Okay, okay. So, um, we'll do your x-rays first, and then after I do your cleaning, doctor will come in and do an exam. Okay, perfect. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do, Camellia, is I'm going to perform an extra oral exam on you, and it's where we fill the outside of your face and neck, and we're checking for any abnormal lumps or bumps. Okay. And behind the ears, these are common areas uh, for lymph nodes. So we're filling for swollen lymph nodes. And you feel completely healthy. Great. Okay, next we want to take a look at your gums and see how healthy they are. And they look really nice and healthy. Very nice. Roof of the mouth as well. Okay, very good. So next, we need to do perio charting on you, Camille. Are you familiar with what that is? Um, no. Oh no. Okay. Well, let me show you just briefly what it is and why we do it. So basically, once a year, we use an instrument that's called a probe, and we measure right between the gum and the tooth. And a normal healthy measurement is between two to three millimeters. Anything 
higher than a 3 is a pocket, and what causes a pocket is when bacteria builds up on the tooth, also known as plaque or tartar. The longer that it stays there, it actually will start to destroy tissue and bone and everything that holds the tooth in the socket, creating a pocket. In severe cases, the patient can actually end up losing their tooth when the oh, pocket wow. gets really deep. So this gives us an idea of how healthy your gums are and whether you have any pockets. And when you do have a pocket, it's called periodontal disease. Um, gingivitis is inflammation of the gums, and you'll usually see bleeding with that. But once you get pockets and destruction of the tissues, it's periodontal disease at that point. Oh, wow. So this is really important for assessing whether you have periodontal disease. Okay, and you've got really healthy numbers. Oh, nice. Great. Okay, so the next thing we do is we want to start your cleaning. And typically we use an instrument over here that's called an ultrasonic scaler. This is a great instrument. It takes off tartar real easy and also removes stain from the teeth. So we use that first and then after we're done with that, we'll use my handheld instruments and scalers to remove the rest of the debris from the teeth. Oh, perfect. Teeth have a little stain. Okay, so now we can do the final part of your cleaning, which is to polish. We use a polisher like this and a little bit of polishing paste, and it makes your teeth nice and shiny and smooth. Perfect. teeth are nice and polished, we're going to floss them. And I just want to briefly go over flossing with you. It's really, really important that you wrap floss around your middle fingers. Okay. A lot of patients make the mistake of wrapped around the pointers. but. You need to wrap around the middle fingers so that you can use those pointers to reach all the way to those back teeth. Or you can do a pointer and a thumb like that. Okay. The other important thing with flossing is once you get there between the tooth, say that this is your tooth, you really want to try to hug each side of the tooth and slide up and down underneath your gum to remove all that bacteria. Okay. All right? Okay. Now, the final thing, which is the most important part of my job, Camellia, is to go over brushing and flossing, because there is a specific technique to it. So let's set you up. Okay, so we already went over flossing. And we recommend that you floss at least once a day. And the reason for this is because the toothbrush does not reach in between the teeth. So unless you use something to get in between your teeth to remove that bacteria, you can still end up with pockets in between your teeth. So it's oh, really okay. important. Definitely. Do you have any questions on that? Um, no, just wanted to thank you for the excellent job. It was sure, great. Sure. Fast and easy. Um, one more thing. <laughs> we want to go over brushing. So, there's a couple important things with brushing. 
The first is that you want to always make sure to brush twice a day. Okay. Because when you skip brushings, the bacteria builds up and it gets to a point where you can't brush it off as easily if okay. you let it build up. So you always want to make sure to brush twice a day for a total of two minutes as well. Okay. Um, if you brush too fast, it's not going to effectively remove that plaque from your teeth. The other important thing is the way that you angle the bristles of the brush. Oh, really? Mo yeah, the uh, bacteria always starts right at the gum line. So if you're careful to angle the bristles towards the gums when you brush, it's the most effective way to remove all that bacteria from your gums. Oh, wow, I didn't know that. Yeah, and then if you use a manual toothbrush, you want to make sure to do either up and down motion or circular motion to prevent causing abrasion and recession of your gums. Okay, perfect. Okay. Definitely start doing that. Huh? All right. And do you have any any questions for me? No, I um, just want to make sure I'm scheduled for my exams and my x-rays and my next cleaning. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. It was Thank good you, to Monique. see you.